that the Quran is the best kalam in terms of its softness. So before moving to the third point, inshallah, we want to warn you brothers about being the people of ghulu, people who go overboard in the month of Ramadan, outside of the month of Ramadan, all they have to do is say so-and-so is mubtadi, so-and-so is the bida, so-and-so is this. So that is not our dawah. As Salafiyah, you brothers, I, some of you young brothers, I told you when I was giving you salams on the day of the A, Ishaq, Ibrahim, Yaqub, you young brothers, uh, I was telling you students how proud I am of you guys. One of the things that would disturb me tremendously if I saw you suddenly becoming like those brothers over there who are rough and tough. He's this, he's that, he's this, he's that. The boy is a brand new Muslim just opening up his eyes. Just open up his eyes. He's just beginning to get an odor from his underarms. Because he's in puberty. He's just growing. And all I have to do is introduce him to hating the Muslims who are trying to be on the sunnah. In Ramadan, on the day of the Eid, the next Friday after the Eid, that's all your doubt is about. That. And Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he was rough and tough at times. But the asl with the Nabi Sallam, the origin, how he was most of the time, is he was easy and he was gentle. And he had hikmah. He was wise and he had knowledge. He knew when to be tough and when not to be tough. He wasn't tough all the time. He was tough some of the time and it was always at the right time. Those brothers, unfortunately, their dawah is a dawah where it's just about an occult, an occult. And I say that. Without any hesitation. Like who like a hater who hate it, it is not a salafia. Allah Ta'ala mentioned about the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the Quran Walu Kunta Fadan Ghalid al Qal Lam Faddu min Hawl. Fabi ma rahmatim min Allahi lintalahum. It was a rahma ya Muhammad you were jintu lintalahum. The same word in the hadith. Fabi ma rahman fabi ma rahmatim min Allahi lintalahum. It was a rahmah from Allah on you, Ya Muhammad, that you were lean. You were easy with them. If you were rough and tough, you would have chased them away. On the day of the Eid, what's your opinion on the day of the Eid? Is it from wisdom on the day of the Eid to talk about the iqam of the hudud, the wisdom of al-hadd in Islam on the day of the Eid? I'm going to talk about why we chop people's hands off. On the day of the Eid, I'm going to tell the people, hey, you have to get a circumcision. This is the day of the Eid. And I talk about circumcision on the day of the Eid. The person who wants to get married, are you married? He's married. Sheikh Mahmoud is married. Are you married? What's your name? Asim. Asim wants to get married. On the day of the wedding, we're going to marry Brother Qasim off, and we invite one of the young brothers to read the Quran. Not because it's the Sunnah, he wants some barakah. If you don't do it, you didn't do anything wrong, but the people come in and the person sits down, he opens up the Quran. And he starts reading. What does he read? From Surah Al-Baqarah. The ayahs of talaq. The ayahs of divorce. We say, hey, 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 hey. We believe in those ayahs of talaq. This is the day he's getting married. Nikah. Talk about, some, talk about something else. Just read Surah Al-Fatiha or something. But he, read, he says, but this Quran at talaq is in minhaj. Ya akhi. On the day of the Eid. Bida, bida. So you brothers, be balanced, inshallah. <laughs> Number three, that's not funny, it's serious. 